this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Sorry about that. It's good to be back. Uh, in a way, now we'll, in a way, destroys Nonito Donaire. Uh, picked up his third belt at 118 pounds. We're going to get into all of that. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Um, also, uh, Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please go to YouTube. Uh, subscribe and share uh, Texas Boxing Scene. There's a great new interview with uh, Omar Figueroa, who's going to be fighting um, Adrian Broner. Uh, but let's get into today's action. Uh, Nonito Donaire scores a sensational knockout, brutal knockout of uh, Nonito. I'm sorry, in a way, now in a way, because it's a brutal second round knockout of Nonito Donaire in a rematch of their uh, 2019 fight. Um, which was fight of the year type fight, you know, um, epic stuff. Um, this was not as, you know, the first round was, was, was going okay. Both guys had landed some heat. Um, and then a right hand um, from, in a way, dropped Donaire. Donaire took care of business, dropped him again in the second, really finished him, pounded him, um, and, and got him out in, in two rounds, really in sensational fashion. Now, it's interesting to see where, in a way, goes on a pound for pound list. It's tough to put him ahead of two or three. Um, you know, you, you, could you put him at one? I mean, you could, it, 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 it's getting tight at the top, you know, with Canelo having dropped off, it makes room for the top. Is it Usyk? Is it in a way? Um, it, it could be any number of guys in a way made a real good case for himself there. Um, he picked up the third belt. The fourth belt is owned by Paul Butler. Um, if they fight, it's not going to be close. It's not going to be competitive. Paul Butler has f- stepped up twice um, against those, you know, the fighters you'd want to see him fight. Both times he got destroyed. He got destroyed. I mean, we're going all the way back now to 2018, uh, but he got absolutely destroyed by Zelani Tete, uh, knocked out in the eighth. Um, then again in 2018, he fought Emmanuel Rodriguez uh, at 118 pound, pounds. He missed the weight by three and a half pounds. Didn't even try to make the weight um, and got absolutely run over by Emmanuel Rodriguez. Um, he got dropped twice in the first rounds. Did make it, did go the distance, was able to, to see the final round, um, but it was not close. It was not competitive. Um, I, 120 to 106 on two of the co- scorecards, 118, 108. It was that kind of fight. Um, so and, and Rodriguez is a guy that I like, but is, he's a guy that got absolutely destroyed by in a way right right after that. So again, boxing man doesn't work that way. He does, you know, Butler does have a nice little win over Jonas Sultan. You know, uh, Jonas Sultan being Jonas Sultan um, doesn't really mean anything to me if you're fighting in a way. It is a good win. Um, what is interesting is um, Paul Butler back in 2014. Somehow won a world title by outpointing Stuart Hall. I, I, it's one of those things that really don't make any sense how that happened, but he did have a world title shortly. Can't take that away from him. Um, now he holds the, uh, you know, he gets the uh, Jonas Sultan fight, which an interim belt upgraded. Um, and now he's a, technically a two time bantamweight champion. Um, and, and this reign is going to be short. He's going to get absolutely annihilated uh, by Inouye should that fight happen, which which it would. Um, then, you know, Inouye will become a four-belt holder um, at 118 pounds. But where does he go from there? The logic would tell you to go to 122. And, look, that could happen. He could go to 122. Um, I don't foresee that really happening um, unless, unless Stephen Fulton – um, well, I guess it could be either guy. You know, Fulton ha- um, fights Akhmadiliev for all the belts. Um, 
in essence, you know, you'd have an undisputed at 18 and 22. Does in a way go up 22 and try to win, you know, become undisputed in both weight classes? Maybe. I don't foresee those two guys fighting soon, so I, I don't think um, in a way goes up to 122 for anything other than a shot at the undisputed title. Um, so at 18, it's pretty bare. 18 is not the best division. It really isn't. Um, you know, where would in a way go from here? You, you you look through the names. There's really not much, especially on the top rank side. You know, um, you have Casemiro who, who lost to Jonas Salton. Um, has put some wins together. Technically, got a decision over Rigondeaux. Destroyed an aging Tete back in 2019. I mean that that's a fight. I, I don't think Casemiro would do very much in that fight. Um, they so, show Asida, Asida, which would be a, a show in Japan, wouldn't really do anything anywhere else. I think his best bet, honestly, would be to go to, down to 115. He can probably still make it. He wasn't there very long. He wasn't a big 118 pounder. Um, and there are tons of good fights at 115 for him. He wasn't big at 115. You know, he starts at 108, uh, 105, 108, skip 112, one, yeah. Uh, is that right? One five. Yeah, he starts at one hundred five, so he's fighting out of his weight class already. Um, if he went up to one fifteen, that's where all the names are. At one fifteen, you have Chocolatito. That's the fight. You have Kazayoka, an all Japanese matchup. You have Nietes, um, Sorungbasai, Bam Rodriguez, Josh Franco. Uh, Jerwin and Kehas no longer has a belt. You have the Argentinian, Fernando um, Daniel Martinez, who just beat him. That's where the fights are. Uh, again, he's on the wrong side of the promotional street. Uh, in these small fights, you, you, you think you could probably get fights with Ioka and Nietes. Could they work something out with, with, with Golden Boy and Franco? Could they work out with something with, you know, uh, Ben Rodriguez and, and um, the zone and Matt Matrim, I mean? Probably, um, but they're going to be a little more difficult to make. Um, but I, really... He wasn't big at 115. At 118, he's undersized. Like I, I again, I'm not in camp with him. I'm not cutting weight with him. I don't know if he can make 115, but he kind of skipped that that, that, that vision. Uh, you go back to 115, he really didn't have a long reign there. And and, and what's a bigger fight? Quadris, Chocolatito, um, Bam Rodriguez, Sorungvisai, Ioka. Or anything at 118 or 122 besides the undisputed fight at 122. All the other fights are at 115. And I think he can make 115. So it 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 it, it begets him to try to make 115. It, it's it's probably the deepest division in the sport. It's probably the best division in the sport. Ton of good fighters. Um and you know, he's got a chance to close out that division. So really, I, I think. That that's his best bet is to go to 115. Should he be able to make it? Which I think I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be able to make it. Um, it's just three pounds. He's not big at 118. He wasn't even big at 115. Like Sorung was size a bigger guy than him. Quadris is a bigger guy than him. Um, so I, I I do think that he could make 115. But you know that's just me guessing. It's been a while since he made it. It's three pounds. I think he could do it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Were you as impressed with Inouye as I was? And what do you think he should do? Um, it, if and when he beats Paul Butler, because that fight looks like it's definitely going to happen. Um, and if it definitely happens, he's definitely going to destroy him. Um, and then is it 15, 22, stay at 18? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it's June 7th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.